Okay, like- I'm so uncomfortable. You're gonna have to move. Yeah, you're gonna have to move. Well, maybe this will work. If you hand any wet noodle with an ego a microphone and ask them if they were a comedian, they would absolutely say yes. The bar for comedy is so low these days. Videos like Jubilee's Six Comedians and Odd One Out uh, has you questioning how any of these goofballs ever made anyone laugh. I do sketch and improv, but I've been playing a baguette like a saxophone. Whether you perform for an audience of 1 or 100, you can still call yourself a comedian and put it in your Instagram bio. Much like how girls who learned Riptide on the ukulele in 2013 still have musician in their Instagram bio, despite not having picked up an instrument in 7 years, but are the types of people who use a fun night out at karaoke to show off their singing skills with a sleepy Amy Winehouse song that absolutely kills the mood of everyone there, just trying to get wasted off of cheap modellos. So I'm here to show you something very special. You know that we love horrible comedy on this channel. Jim Brewer, please release the copyright claim on, on, on my video that you're featured in. It's not that good of singing. Let the people enjoy it. I, I don't want to mute the audio on there. Just come on. It's fair use. It's fair use. Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. So there's a YouTuber out there that's gaining a little bit of infamy, but don't worry, you don't need to know who he is for this video. And I'll give you a little recap like we always do. So there's this YouTuber, Deaf Noodles, who put on this like comedy roast show where you're supposed to go up on stage and roast each other. <laughs> They're supposed to be funny. When, when you hear of a roast, it's supposed to be funny. And Comedy Central has done these. And well, they're the breeding grounds of some of the most unfunny jokes like this one. But I truly am, no joke, sorry for the loss of your friend Ryan Dunn. I know you must have been thinking it could have been me. And I know we were all thinking, why wasn't it? <laughs> um. And boy oh boy, if you didn't think that was bad, it's about to get a whole lot worse. It's not really important who Deaf Noodles is for this video, but he's a he's a tea slash drama channel. Nothing inherently wrong with a channel like that, but he's in a weird defamation lawsuit with Keemstar, because Keemstar defamed his his name. Well, apparently he has he has done stand-up comedy as well. People have really not been liking him for the past few months. Um, he is just getting a little aggressive with his insults towards other people and has told other content creator Papa Gut and just random people on Twitter to go kill themselves. And he's just overall kind of a Twitter fiend, a Twitter villain. One of those people that responds to every single troll on Twitter. This roast battle was supposed to be kind of a an event for YouTubers who kind of had beef to really battle it out on the big stage. And by, by big stage, I mean a crowd of probably 10 people maximum. Uh, Duff Noodles has over 600,000 subscribers, and uh, this is LA. So, you know, uh, but that's okay, you know, a small crowd can it can be good. It's, it's about the quality of the people there, right? This show was an absolute disaster. Hey, by the time you're watching this, my new song, Plastic Love, is out on Spotify and iTunes and whatever else. It's an homage to Plastic Love by Maria Takeuchi. Go listen to it right now. It's live. Do it. Do it! So this kind of looks like a college classroom with a, a very naive professor. All right, LA, are you ready? You ready? Hey, Steven, I don't think these motherfuckers are ready. He, he keeps going, are you ready? And there's absolute silence in the audience as you can see them fidgeting with the projector on screen. And the projection doesn't really fit where the projector is. Overall, doesn't really seem like a high budget production for someone who has over half a million subscribers, but... Are y'all ready? Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't think we're gonna do the show anymore. This is this crowd's like they're all asleep. Yeah, I'm asleep, and so is my dog. So they spent the first forever minutes just trying to get this poor man's microphone working. And they also were live streaming this on Twitch, as you can see uh, from this chat bar on the side here. And apparently they, <laughs> he got his Twitch account banned because his co-host kept saying the F slur. So a, a very professional production so far. I'm having a great time. We have some really amazing comedians. 
We're gonna just roast the shit out of each other for your enjoyment. They have some very amazing comedians, so that's an important setup there. We're allowed to evaluate these hooligans as comedians, as that's their that's their job title for the evening. Coming out smoking a joint. That's some LA shit right there. Allegedly. So we here just to talk shit about y'all, cause y'all been talking shit about us. Ah. So where the trolls at? Where the trolls at? Oh. Oh, okay, now nobody want to oh, say nothing. Well, people are pointing. Everybody's pointing. <laughs> a couple of trolls. Yeah, yeah, hold on, I'm trying to see who look like they profile picture on YouTube. Hold on, who? Look? <laughs> okay, you uh, who the cat? I don't recognize the cat. No. <laughs> What's happening in here, man? This is Arthur Hamilton. I'm high, y'all. I'm on mushrooms right now. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So pretty good start. We get this strange intro with him smoking a blunt with in absolute silence. There wasn't really a lot of clapping to introduce him on stage. Um, and uh, one of them's high on mushrooms. So good. I'm L.A. out here. I feel like y'all just all from YouTube. Like, how'd y'all... Is there just a YouTube freeway from YouTube to right here? What happened? <laughs> Raise your hand if you left a comment and like that. Subscribe today. Did y'all watch this the episode today? This dude in the red thinks he's stuck in YouTube. <laughs> he's like, I, are we in the pipelines of YouTube? Can we, can we like comment and subscribe right now? I, I like how they try to do a little bit of crowd work, but the crowd is completely dead on the inside. It's like they're a bunch of empty corpses just sitting in the audience waiting for the comedy to start. Also, I like this little bit about writing from YouTube HQ to there as if every YouTube viewer has kind of like a, a little timeshare away and at YouTube HQ, you know, maybe Susan has the pen house upstairs and you know maybe we, we make our way up with how many subscribers we have in, in our little YouTube penthouse that's exactly where all these people came from you live in LA of course there's gonna be people there from you like what do you what do you, what is this joke all right so you're probably wondering when the actual roast battle is starting I was kind of hoping we'd stay on those three hooligans doing bad crowd work for a while uh finally the roasts will start and you know how I said earlier that this was gonna be a place for a bunch of youtubers to kind of settle their differences and in a fun you know cheeky little rap battle not rap we're not rap battling in a little roast battle yeah so so about that so these people don't know each other this is just gonna be a roast battle of people who don't know each other so how do you think this is going to end a roast battle in which people don't know each other you know a lot of good roasts will reference people's past people's careers uh you know funny little inside jokes that they've done and you know maybe a little bit of their appearance that, that's always a nice basis for for a good roast battle yeah so this is gonna be all about appearances because these people don't know anything about each other. This whole show is set on a foundation of people who don't know what they're doing and it shows. Hey Siri, give me a coin. I don't think- I Hey Siri, give me a coin. We're off to a good start. I get that he's nervous. You know, being a host for the first time live is pretty difficult and I'd probably be a bit cringy too in this situation. But I guess when this is your show, I don't know, maybe have a better understanding of how it's gonna go before you get on stage. You know, maybe plan a little bit of the script. Maybe come out there with the coin app already on your phone or you know, get a real coin. That's always an option. Oh, hey Siri, flip a coin. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Tails. Oh, I didn't even ask who's. <laughs> and then he forgets to ask who's gonna be tails or heads. I just met this motherfucker today, so you guys need to relax already, all right? But I, I just met this motherfucker, but he's the only person I've seen with a cankle on his neck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why you're wearing fucking, uh, I don't know why you're wearing uh, shoes to relax, bro. What are you relaxing from? You haven't moved in days. Bars. Hey, you wearing shoes to relax and flow on these tracks. Watch out, Mr. Vest is gonna attack. You have the smallest pants on I've ever seen. <laughs> So I know that the stage is really small, but it's a little strange to see Deaf Noodles just doing a this stance just awkwardly leaning against the wall as they roast each other on this two by four stage you know maybe he could have sat off to the side it seems that there's an empty chair there um actually there's several empty chairs in this room that he could have sat in to wait for this atrocity to be over that fucking neckline of the shirt looking like you fucking stretched that shit for miles 
What even is this, bro? Is this like just a fucking? You have on a vest in the summertime. <laughs> so, like you, you, you have to stop talking about appearance. Like it's not working out, man. I mean, he could, he does have a point. The appearance attacks aren't really working. He goes, "What what are you wearing?" Of a, a fucking, and he walks up to him to grab his chain. When you, <laughs> hey hey, what what the what what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> Laugh. This is like the "What are those?" joke from 2016, except worse. And what are you doing? I can see everything going on. All right, never mind. Uh, it's called a cock, buddy. You see if you didn't have that tummy there. All right. Oh. That would have worked if half of you weren't fat as fuck. Yo. He ain't got no pussy on, in a long on. time. No, 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 it's no, no, been a while for him. He is right upset. Hold on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on. hold on. I feel like you lost the audience right now. You want to you wanna try to win them back? I don't think I did. <laughs> it it kind of sounds like you did. The only person I lost was the only lady that was rooting for me. That was absolutely painful, and thank God it's the end of round one. He is a nice guy. He does have a small bulge. It's okay. Uh, All of that was inaccurate because I'm not a nice guy, and I don't have a small dick because obviously you saw it from, from here, bro. Look at this. My dick's bigger than your ass. I'll tell you that much. Can you turn around and let the people I am not going to give you no put. <sighs> There's a lot to unpack in this one. He said, Leviticus 13.62, my dick is bigger than your ass all right this isn't even like my favorite rap battle no nope, they're not rap battles this isn't even my favorite roast battle of the night either and then he asked Corey to do a little a little twirl for him can you turn around let the people i am not going hey everyone my dick is bigger than your ass can you can you do a little spin for us in the audience to show everyone your ass he's been <laughs> fantasizing about me you could just download Grinder for this. You don't even have to hit on me on stage. I will give it this. Your titties are bigger than my cock. I'll tell you that. And then he goes for another nice metaphor, simile, one of those literary tools he's really putting to work here. Your titties are bigger than my cock. So let me get this straight in, in the scale of things. His dick is bigger than Corey's ass. However, Corey's tits are bigger than his dick. From small to large here, we have Corey's ass, the dick. And then Corey's titties, as he proclaims. You know, maybe I'm not really following the equation here uh, to the best of my abilities, but it seems to be a really convoluted roast for something that definitely isn't accurate. Oh, you really do want to fuck me. Oh, this is <laughs> sick. I don't want to, I have to. This is sick. Yeah. <laughs> um. You know, you could argue that both of these weirdos are not very funny, but Corey is definitely swinging back a little better than Peter. What the fuck is his name? Vest Man? He's at least bouncing off of the other person's roast. And Corey goes, damn, you really want to f*** me. Because he keeps talking about his butt and titties, which, okay, okay, that's a funny comeback. And Mr. Vest Guy goes, I don't want to. I have to. The, uh, the, I can't even explain. Like, the basis of a joke here is so lost upon these people. Okay, I'm gonna have to step in. This yeah, is, this is in. a slaughter. <laughs> Ernesto, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Oh, Ernesto, not Peter. Sorry. Yeah, I think it was correct for Deaf Noodles to step in here and just stop this strange approach. So this isn't even my favorite roast battle that I wanted to show you today. I, I saved the best for last, cause holy fuck, I buckle in, buckle in, cause we're about to go on a ride. So this next battle is between the host himself and this girl, I'll let her introduce herself. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miranda. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, we gotta do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's I do can't believe it. Go, 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 go. So this this next lady is the most insufferable comedian I've ever experienced. I would argue worse than Jim Brewer, really. Worse than Amy Schumer. It's really something else. For some reason, I keep thinking that comedy can't get any worse. And here I am being exposed to worse and worse comedy. And I'm so excited to share with you today our, our my favorite comedian of the night, Miranda, who is trying way too hard to be cool. Uh, I haven't won yet, but it feels pretty good. <laughs> oh, you won, you won. <laughs> Everybody's a winner tonight, hey. right? No, fuck that shit! <laughs> if I don't deserve it, don't give it to me!
Yeah, we're gonna do BBL Instagram. You're not a comedian, you will never be. Death Noodles is a bully. You're not a comedian, you will never be a comedian. Steph says they're comedian. Because of that. To then he replied, go educate. Yeah, so the show malfunctions half the way through. It's supposed to be an intro for Deaf Noodles to come back on stage, but he's nowhere near ready to come back on stage. And this video of saying, Deaf Noodles, you're not a comedian, you're not funny, keeps playing on loop for like 15 minutes. Yourself. Deaf Noodles is a bully. You are not a comedian, you will never be a comedian. Deaf says they're comedian. Of it's supposed to be like an epic comeback intro and he walks out on stage, but it's so embarrassing. And it's also like 200 decibels louder than Miranda's laugh. <laughs> uh, all right, Miranda, you ready? Uh, it's you yeah, and me. It's you and me. I'm like the meanest guy on the internet Wait, right now. People roasting? hate me. We're roasting. Oh! You wearing that dare shirt because you're like, uh, I dare you to run away from me. Miranda? You know what? I'll do you one better, Miranda. If that was me on that stage instead of Deaf Noodles, I would have ripped her to shreds. But don't worry, she did that to herself with the most unfunny statements I've ever heard. Actually, from both sides. I dare you to run away from me. Uh, you know, as your resident comedy professor here, let, let me critique this, this joke a little bit here. Here's what I would have maybe said. Deaf, you wearing that dare shirt at 37 years old makes you look like one of those kids who smoked pot in high school but never grew out of that phase. How about a dare shirt? That's really bold of you because I fucking dare you to put on a good show. Oh wait, that dare shirt makes you look like you worship Bob Marley and no other reggae artist. That dare shirt makes you look like you smoked weed once in high school and think you're fucking cool. Is that a dare shirt? Did you get that from when you worked at a school 25 years ago? I'm surprised you still have it. I that's just off the top of my head, you know? Those are a few of the things that I would have said if the prompt was make fun of this dude's awesome shirt. Carrot Top called, he wants his look back. <laughs> Wait, I'm what? Hey. Cat got your tongue? No, you Pussy just- Pussy got your tongue? Nah, you look like you woke up in a dumpster. <laughs> Probably. Well, that was supposed to be a bitch. Yeah, ho. I'm waiting for something. Deaf Noodles went to comedy school. <laughs> he went to comedy school. So yeah, I, I wasn't kidding. Uh, Deaf Noodles is 37 years old and he did go to comedy school. As the evidence presents, just because you got a degree in something doesn't mean you're good at it. I've been saying this for years and this is a definite prime example of that. If you don't Tony shut Lopez. the <laughs> So this girl's comedy really adds a new definition to loud equals funny because she'll just scream nonsense. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm looking at your teeth because I just can't. It reminds me, you ever see that movie Ed with the horse with the big teeth? I don't have that big a teeth. I mean, you're just like fishing for something now. You look really? like emo shaggy. Emo shaggy. <laughs> that shirt's too small for you, low key. <laughs> Hey, enough slander about the shirt, okay? I, I don't understand how you have holes on your knees. <laughs> I take back what I said. This dude's a comedic genius. You got holes on your knees. That's why I'm the bees. They call me bees knees. Got some holy oh. jeans. On your pants, because you don't go down, right? Oh, I do. Yeah? I do. Uh, you can go down on bitches. What? Are you, do you not know that? <laughs> Again, that's Apparently noodles. Because uh, he's never heard a girl with a wet pussy. Okay. Huh? You got holes on your knees. I mean jeans. Because you don't you don't go down, do ya? Like, like she doesn't get on her knees to suck? Cock. If the jeans are holy... That must mean that they have gotten worn down enough because she does get down, right? Right? You know, not not to be the logic police here in comedy, but you know, the, the basis of comedy, you know, maybe should uh, make any sense at all. You're like my cousin if you were a girl. 
Thank you. I bet you cried when you got those tattoos. I did. <laughs> this is like two Oblivion NPCs talking at this point because throughout most of this, they don't bounce off of each other at all. It's just, here's a weird insult. Silence. Uncomfortable laughter. And then the other person will say something completely unrelated. It's the strangest dialogue tree I've come across so far. Thank you. I bet you cried when you got those tattoos. I did. <laughs> I, I did. did. Are you from Detroit? Take a guess. No. <laughs> that was a good one. That was so funny. <laughs> Are you from Detroit? Where was, I don't think he knew where that was going. I'm bombing so bad and I don't give a fuck. And neither do I bro, come on, we in it together, Dougie. Dougie. Hey, you got don't dimples spray. too, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. You want to make out? No. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> That's why I asked. This is so uncomfortable. This is worse than Josh Peck and Drake and Josh talking to girls where he'd just get really nervous and say something stupid and random and then run away. This is worse. They start complimenting each other. Oh, I'm sucking. Me too. Hey, you got nice dimples. Wanna make out? No. Yeah, that's why I asked. Were you just gonna make? <laughs> Where? What was the goal here? <laughs> so you're a lesbian by choice. You're you're. Be How does that make any sense? Beard is graying. <laughs> I know. I'm old. <laughs> I'm 37. You are 37? <laughs> Damn, you look good for a white person. Can't even hate though. <laughs> I'm not white. Yeah, you are. I'm from Brazil. I know, but you white. <laughs> ah! This is like the perfect recipe for cringe. I want to die of cringe. I'm melting of cringe. He knows Brazilians can be white, right? Like, Brazilian's not a race. <laughs> And then, and then she says that he's aging well for a white person. Is she not also white? You know what? I don't know her upbringing and I'm not going to question it that much, but it's just a little strange at her appearance and then consistently using Av through this entire show and then making comments as if she's not also white. I'd love to know the lore. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Actually, I found a bit of Miranda's old stand-up. Once again, do not harass Miranda. Do not harass Deaf Noodles. I do just want to point it out though. Miranda's old stand-up, you can clearly hear that she does not talk like that in real life. So I don't know where this black scent is coming from, but it's really weird and I don't like it. I really need to kiss someone because the last person I kissed was my mom. <laughs> so if anybody wants my mom's sloppy seconds, you gotta talk to her because I'm not allowed to date. Bitch, well, it's that your was supposed time. to be a bitch. Yeah, ho. I'm waiting for something. That shirt's too small for you, low key. Neither do I, bro. Come on, we in it together, doggy. Uh, hey, you got dimples spray. too. That's what's up. <laughs> I'm Damn, yeah, she came, baby! <laughs> the uncomfortable breathing after every joke she tells here is... You know, it really helps, actually. I really like it. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to keep going, because you're going to win, regardless. Okay, I, I have to stop the video right here. I've got a bone to pick with whoever keeps f screeching at the top of their lungs after everything these two wieners say on stage. I cannot stand it. If you are this person screaming in the crowd after everything these people say, please never attend another comedy show in your life because you are probably the most insufferable person to sit next to. This person screeching in the background pissed me off more than anything that was ever said in this entire hour long disaster snooze fest. Your eyes are too close together. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I wish they were even closer so I couldn't see you. <laughs> I like that one. Hmm. <laughs> what, are you, what are you writing, a dissertation? You look like uh, the guy at the party with a backpack but it's only filled with cocaine. <laughs>
Hey, Coke's That's good. Cool. I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, I guess you could have said like, you look like a guy that goes to a party and then only talks to girls and tells them that their vibes are good. And that's how you try to pull. You know, maybe that could have been a better hyper specific insult instead of showing up to a party with a bag full of cocaine. Is that like a popular trope? I don't think we had that kind of frat bro in college that just showed up with a backpack full of cocaine. You know, maybe it was like, some weed and some beer with condensation on it that got everything else in the backpack wet? Or how about that guy that shows up to a party with a guitar to try to impress the girls and then only plays Wonderwall? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you just, you wanna win? It's over. There's no way I can you win. Look, uh, That's the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not supposed to win. You're you, supposed to win. You look like a white trash fly. <laughs> That is devastating. White trash fly is the worst slur you could have called this man. You know what? I'm just gonna go out. I'm gonna bring the fucking check. Comic this Wars 9-11! Hold up, hold up, hold Blood, up, hold up. Are you coming? Comic Wars 9-11! What is happening? So it, it seems like her brain starts malfunctioning here and she starts yelling 9-11 to the crowd. She's like, fuck, I, I gotta think of something. She's like, oh, 9-11 jokes are funny. And then she just starts yelling. There's no punchline here. Here. She just starts yelling 9-11 as he's going to bring out the check. She had already won. She didn't need to keep going. Hell yeah. I bought a big ass check. I didn't fill it out. You're supposed to win a hundred bucks. That's why I can't win. I was I gonna fucking win money. You're just now telling me this. Stop yelling. So unfortunately, the prize money for enduring this hour-long embarrassment session was just a hundred bucks. You know, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, but I don't think that was worth uh, this being shared around the rest of my life, uh, just constantly living in embarrassment. So, hold up. Hold this up. Hey, Miranda, wake up. Hold this out with me. If I'm not winning, why am I holding it? You're winning it. You won it. I, I can't I win. Because you won the... That's do two saying. people win? Just you. Just Why you. do I win? I thought Because you won the win. roast battle. Oh my God. She's so confused. That Don't check rolled tighter tomorrow. than my pussy. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, that is pretty much it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the comedy, the cringe, all of it. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I did. Thank you, Deaf Noodles. Came over. I thought Hunter was coming back up. No. It's just you and me. We're closing the show. Oh, well... Uh, this was phenomenal, right? Am I right, yeah. you guys? Make it loud. This was phenomenal. Shout out to everybody who came over. Yes. 9-11. <laughs> Damn it. You know, next time, please don't get me banned on Twitch. <laughs> I mean, you can... So she'd already won, the show's closing out, and she decides to make some, some more funny jokes here. Yes. 9-11! The only explanation I could think of for this behavior is she's just... I... 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 She's either wasted, super high, or just very edgy, or all of the above. So if you've been following the channel, I've roasted lots of stand-up comedy, women's stand-up comedy, and now YouTuber stand-up comedy roast special. I'd love to know which one you thought was the most painful, because this is really taking the cake for me. Like, this this makes me want to delete my other videos, because it, it just tops both of those combined. So. Roasting is difficult, especially when you don't know the other person. Stand-up comedy is difficult. We all know that. Uh, I guess overall, we can definitely tell that this show is unprepared and an absolute mess. And while I don't know a whole lot about Deaf Noodles and his lore, I, I do know a lot about these noodles. Come on. Come on. Let me show you. Good. Come on. Come on. Okay, so maybe I lied a little bit about the anatomy of the pasta, but the pasta I'm talking about today is from HelloFresh, the sponsor of today's video. I've been moving offices this week and getting back from a trip and my entire life in general has just been upside down. So having meals from HelloFresh just to really keep me trucking along was so important. I was able to get a nutritious meal for the same amount of time it would have taken me to go get fast food, which seriously just makes life so much easier. And the tortelloni I'm making is so good. Plus it's guilt-free since HelloFresh is the first carbon nutrient 
natural meal kit company. Nearly all the packaging is recyclable, and it cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping, according to a HelloFresh Global Food Waste Study. The recipes include pre-portioned ingredients, that means less prep and less wasted food. I was excited to try HelloFresh because I myself am one, a notoriously picky eater, two, I have food allergies, and three, I tend to stay away from red meat, so I'm only really eating seafood and chicken, and I knew that HelloFresh could accommodate all of that. <laughs> the ingredients of everything is on the packaging and meals as you choose them on their easy-to-use website, and they have meal options from vegetarian, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your diet. So HelloFresh and I have partnered to give you lovely gatekeepers an awesome deal. Go to HelloFresh.com and use Gabby Bell 16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. I think that's an awesome deal. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code GabbyBell16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Bye!